Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a fun little get ready with me video featuring some new makeup releases that I just picked up. So if you are curious to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Okay, I'm very excited to film. I haven't filmed in a hot second. Last weekend was Easter, and I don't know if you guys keep up with the news, but there's a very tragic situation that ensued in Sri Lanka, which is where I'm originally from, and I know it's been in the news a lot. So yeah, it's just been a really week of just processing everything that's happening back home. And if any of you guys are Sri Lankan and you watch me, you know, my thoughts and prayers are with all of you um, and everyone all over the world. So um, it's just really, really tragic. And I really appreciate you guys reaching out to me on Instagram and through text messages and stuff, just checking up on me and my family. That was very, very thoughtful and sweet of you guys. So just want to address that, but I do want to play with makeup today. Um, and I have really gotten back into my MAC Pain Pod. I didn't really finish up soft ochre but i had a soft ochre that i used up until it dried out my eyelids are so dry and then i bought this shade up which is groundwork because i was like you know soft ochre is kind of a lighter beige i feel like it's kind of made for lighter skin tones so i wanted to try groundwork and this one's nice too i really wish mac would come out with like a white paint pot and like a black paint pot i'm kind of shocked they haven't done that yet and this brush is really disgusting it's like a synthetic brush from Sonia Kashuk that I use to put on my MAC paint pot but yeah I'm so shocked that MAC hasn't done like white paint pot or black paint pot I just bought two of the ColourPop liners the white one and the black one because I saw somebody using those um, as like a primer and I was like that's kind of a good idea I mean it's still cream right so I did that so I'm excited for those to come in and I also tried to DIY hair color um <laughs> and it definitely turned out more light this piece right here you guys this is so gnarly but i just was like so curious because i was watching um april i believe from wanna makeup she had used this in her hair and she was like raving about it on her instagram so i was like i want to try that like why not you know says so really really curious and so i bought so i bought it and i just put it in my hair and i washed my hair um so once i finish my makeup i will air like blow dry it and come back and like show you guys the finished look but i just thought it was really funny that um i totally like over processed that bit of hair but i think i'll be able to cover it up like with my other hair anyway <laughs> so today we're playing with some new makeup i had an ultra order come in i got this guy from charlotte tilbury which i wasn't thinking would work with my skin tone but i think it actually is fine uh, might not be able to use it in the summer but that's okay and then i totally caved after ulta sent the second 20 percent off coupon and i was like fine i'll buy the stupid adeline uh, maureen palette with tarte and honestly this is really pretty i've kind of been into the neutrals lately too so i don't hate it like just looking at it i don't hate it um the packaging is really pretty and the shades are really nice neutrals so you guys don't like to do my eyes first this brush is clean even though it looks dirty this is a wing gas number 16 and i'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this in my crease i'm actually gonna try the yellow shade it's called girls supporting girls it's like one of my favorite things about, I don't know, being a woman is like when women support women. So I think that's cool that she named a shade called Girls Supporting Girls because I definitely think it's important um, to spread that message that we're not like in competition with each other. Um, we always want to build women up and support our fellow females um no matter what walks of life we're all in and it's all you know we're all on a journey and sometimes the world can be a brutal place for women so it's very important that we're nice to each other and kind and you know what they say like you never know what somebody else is going through so definitely you know try your best to be a positive person try your best to um you know only say things when you have something good to say um 
that's my wisdom of the day in case you guys cared. Okay, so this yellow shade is definitely like very much blending into my skin tone. I totally bought the new Makeup Shayla palette with ColourPop 2 because I was just dying to see what that yellow would look like on me. I wish somebody would come up with like a yellow that <laughs> would just pop on like my skin tone. Like that's all I want. And I don't want to be having to sit here and like press it in my skin. I want to be able to blend it and for it to still be flipping yellow. Like is that too much to ask for? I don't think so. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm going to go into the shade Contour, which is like my favorite like brown shade ever. It just works so well with my skin tone. And just putting that in my crease. I'm just kind of sticking to the outer half of my crease. Um, this eye look I'm guessing is going to be really, really simple. I wanted to play with my Sydney Grace Danny bundle that just came in. Um, it literally came in yesterday. And I think that would be so fun to film with. But I feel like I've been doing so many colorful looks that... Like, I thought it would be fun to play with neutrals, and I feel like for me, like, I'm, like, equally into neutrals. Well, that's not true. I still think I like wearing color more, but neutrals are kind of making, like, a comeback in my little orbit, and so I'm okay with, like, wearing neutrals every once in a while. So, pretty much, like, done doing the crease, so now I want to put a sparkly shade on my lids. There's three... Sparkly shades, there's Law of Attraction, Red Eye Flight, and Beautiful, Magical, Wonderful. I think I'm going to try Law of Attraction. Okay, so let's try Law of Attraction. I wonder if I need to spray this. Uh, probably should spray it. <laughs> it's not really... My lids are just so dry too. It's just like... That's pretty freaking lackluster. So let me spray. I've been use, trying to use up this Mario Badescu spray. So I just spray everything with that guy. Okay, it's coming alive a little bit. I think this is just like a fun palette for the summertime. Um, for me, it's not like... It's kind of a no-brainer palette. So I think a lot of... Um, People that, like, I can see a lot of my friends being really into this palette because um, nobody I really know is, like, as into makeup as I am. So I think my friends that, like, want something simple, but, like, for them this would be, like, oh my gosh, this palette is, like, so fun because it's got that yellow. Um, it's got, like, a beautiful golden shade. So I think if you're, like, tan but you're not into like makeup as much as I am, I think this would be a fun summer palette for you. Like... I can see people wearing this on a night out when they're like by the beach or if you're in you know the midwest like by a lake like this would be such a fun palette to wear to like your local lake bar for the night and I'm really painting a picture today um just like you know it looks like you tried a little but you also you know it's not too out there like color 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 like I do all the time um, so I'm just wondering what the, <laughs> what the hype was with this palette, because the, it's kind of boring, <laughs> to be honest. It's like, eh, you know, I like a good neutral palette, don't get me wrong. Like, I recently raved about the, um, BH Cosmetics, um, you know, the Capricorn palette and stuff. I feel like this is definitely very subtle for me. Um, I kind of want to, I kind of want to put some glitter on, see if I can pop make this pop a little bit maybe and I want to darken up the outer crease a little bit more I've also been like putting a lot of shimmer in my crease I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing it's just what I've been feeling I don't know guys this yellow is like getting lost why is this getting lost so I just thought of my Sydney Grace bundle and it has like really beautiful gold in here so I'm just gonna use my finger and see I feel like that's what I was expecting I'm just trying to amp it up a little bit I saw somebody comment on um, my pinky rose video that I did with the exotic peacock palette they were like Karen you're such a realistic beauty guru because if you can't use that palette I don't think I can and it kind of made me laugh because I was like 
Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, <laughs> but it could be kind of, I mean, I don't definitely think I'm the best by any means. Um, but <laughs> I just thought that was a really funny comment. Don't worry, my feelings are not hurt um, by the comment at all. I just thought it was very, um, it was a fun um, thing for somebody to notice and say like, if you can't do it, I can't do it, which is definitely not true because you guys know I'm like the basic beauty guru, but okay, I feel like that Sydney Grace shadow helped a little bit. The indie brands are like still killing it for me, I swear. Ooh, I like that so much better. Okay. So, let's see. I think I'll attempt glitter after I do my foundation. So I decided to buy um, the carton of eggs, these beauty blender dupes from uh, Beauty Bakery with my 20% off coupon. Um, and this is cute. Uh, I've never used one of these before. It just ballooned up and it's nice and squishy. So that's cool. And then if you guys are looking for a awesome foundation recommendation that you can pick up from the Sephora sale, this is a Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. So good. I wore this all winter long. I think it's going to be great for the summer as well. I'm pretty sure I'm like this much through it because I was literally wearing this every day. I had to force myself to try a different foundation and I actually saw Mel Thompson recommend this foundation in her Sephora recommendations and I was like, okay, I'm not the only one. If Mel thinks it's a good foundation, that means it's really good. And she said she was on her second bottle um, because she had already used up one bottle of it, um, which I feel like is a really uh, rare review because if you guys see like Mel Thompson's videos, like her skin is like perfection. So if she likes it, like I'm telling you guys, and she's tried like major like high-end stuff. So the thing I like about this is I don't think it's like crazy full coverage, but I feel like it almost like gives me like a flawless filter or something. Like I don't even know how to explain it, but I feel like it covers up all my sins as I would call it and still looks dewy and beautiful and I'm so glad I tried this foundation in Vegas they gave me a sample and I really liked it and so I bought the full size when I got home Speaking of which, I've had nothing that I've been like dying to buy during the VIB sale. I'm kind of like depressed about it. I was gonna buy like a whole bunch of like powders and I wanted to buy like the new Jouer powder and stuff like that. And I'm like, Karen, like you don't need any pressed powders right now. Um, so I had the Jouer powder, the Fenty powder. I decided no because I have like the Charlotte Tilbury, the Hourglass, the Huda. I just got the um, Beauty Bakery baking powder in the Ultra 21 Days. So I have so many powders. I also have the Charlotte Tilbury press powder. So I said no to powders. There wasn't really any eyeshadow palettes I wanted either. And so like it's kind of funny. I'm just like I don't want anything and I'm kind of deciding to go with that feeling of just like if I can't think of anything I want then I'm not gonna buy it. And I kind of was thinking like maybe I'll get um, the Urban Decay Game of Thrones collab palette when that comes out, so we'll see. The Cover FX Blush Duos launched on Ulta today when I'm filming this, and I had a $50, $10 off a $50 purchase there, so I bought two of those and then I used the $10 off. Um, but I think actually when they launch on Sephora, if I use my flash shipping, it'll probably actually get here faster than Ulta. Plus I'll be able to get them on the sale. And then like even the Muschino collection, I thought maybe I'll get the brushes, but I'm like really like, I have the first collection brush set and it just sits there. And it'll be fun to like have it as a collector's edition, but I really don't have like the extra $60 to just sit on my shelf this year. I feel like we have you know, I have a trip planned to Nashville um, in September for a bachelor party and then the same couple, their wedding is also in September and we're going to Arizona for that. So I'm like not really trying to spend too much money on makeup. I've been toying with the idea of doing like a no new makeup May, um, kind of like a no buy, but you guys know I get like so like freaked out about doing no buys and like saying no buy because I 
feel like I always fail at it. But honestly, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more serious about it now because I've just come to the point where, and I know every creator is going on about, like, oh my god, there's no new makeup releases, blah, blah, blah. That's not it for me. I think there are some really great releases still. It's just that it's like, I still have so much that I haven't reviewed and I thought I'd maybe start a new series called Dust It Off as in like dust off the dust off some of my palettes like palettes I bought. Um, I did like swatch party videos and you never saw them on my channel again. Um, so let me know like all your thoughts on like all this blabbering I'm doing and I'm gonna put concealer on. So a concealer I've been loving is definitely this Fenty concealer. So again I didn't like really I should have like a lot of the things my problem with sales is like I don't wait for a sale to buy something if I really want it so I buy like all the new things that come to Sephora without like waiting around for them and uh, I definitely don't think that's a good thing but it's good for you guys because then I try products out before the sale and I have an opinion on them but not the greatest for me when the sale comes around because I'm like oh I don't really want anything and then there's nothing for me that I'm like dying to have you know <laughs> so I don't know it's just kind of interesting um this sponge is definitely like denser than like a beauty blender um I don't know if it's like doing as good a job of blending as I think a beauty blender would but you know they're like $18 honestly can't complain too much and now I'm gonna set my under eye and to set my under eye, I'm gonna use this guy this is the little beauty bakery flower setting powder I got it in the shade translucent because I wanted banana but banana was sold out by the time I decided to make this purchase and honestly this powder it's okay but it's not like life-changing by any means for me um, my favorite powder I think to set my makeup with is honestly the Charlotte Tilbury press powder It just does such a good job. I don't even know how to explain it um, Just makes me feel like flawless and smooth and blah 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 So I really like that guy Over anything, um, but this has really cute packaging and I got it on a good deal So I'm not too upset about it. Okay, so next I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I will be right back. Okay guys, brows are on. I did throw a little bit of Urban Decay glitter in my lids just to amp, oops, amp it up. Just to amp up my eye look a little tiny bit. And I actually recently bought the Shockwave eyeliner. This is a neon eyeliner by LA Girl in Screaming. I just got it in the mail and that's what I'm wearing in my waterline. Actually it was a subscriber recommendation so thank you to my amazing subscriber that recommended those eyeliners and they were on sale at Ulta for like two dollars when I bought them. Maybe like three dollars and I'm like super tempted to just like buy all the colors but I don't need to. Um, so yeah, those are fun in case you're looking for a fun eyeliner and then I'm just gonna do my lower lash line so I'm gonna go into girls supporting girls and just Bring that all onto my lower lash line This color is like so close to my skin tone. I feel like I can really go ham which I don't know why I feel like I can do that but I'm going to and then I'm just gonna bring some contour down in the outer half. Love! Okay. And then I'm just going to grab some of this Promise Ring highlighter shade and just put some of that in the inner corner. I do love Tarte's highlighters and cheek products because they do have quite a bit of pop in them. Okay, love it. Now, time to use this guy. I know a lot of you are wondering if this is gonna suit your skin tone, so usually I like to do bronzer first. And this is a big gelée, so I like to use a synthetic brush that has a little bit of roughness to it. This is the Morphe M551, and I'm gonna do bronzer first. I can see it in the viewfinder, so I just want to make sure you guys can too. Um, this freaking palette is expensive. I don't think I'm going to buy another 
um, face palette for a while because it's so spendy and $75 for this and then I I'm still trying to use up the Becca um, face palette I have from like two years ago so I don't go through them very fast okay so I've already tried this Gasm Multi Glow. I want to try the Pop Blush, which reminds me a lot of like NARS Orgasm, to be honest. Um, and this blush brush is my favorite. I use this on my ColourPop blushes. Um, it's from an old Sonia Kasha collection I bought, and it's a very um, perfect brush for a big gelée because it's a rough brush, so it picks up a lot of product. And I love the way this puts blush on my face so like I will die the day <laughs> okay I won't die but I'll be really sad the day that brush um falls apart and then I'm just gonna use this Morphe M438 brush for the highlight oh my goodness yes so I've been getting obviously questions from a lot of my tan complected girls um, about whether they think like I think this palette is wearable and I definitely say yes um, Only thing is um, Somebody did ask me if I saw any glitter in the formula and I don't see any glitter um, obviously there's some kind of shimmer in here, but like I don't see any particles of glitter so Love that palette. I'm so glad I bought it. I watched Michelle uh, Wang here on YouTube do her review on it and I was like, oh, well, she makes it look like it might work on my skin tone, so Love that and then what else do we need to do? Oh lip color. Okay, really quick. I'm gonna spray my face Oh, I love fix plus you guys still like my OG favorite setting product that's not a setting product and I want to try this because I had done a video with my VIB wish list, and I had talked about wanting to try the Pat McGrath eyeliner. And then again, another subscriber said that Mel Thompson had said that the CoverGirl Exhibitionist mascara was a good dupe to the Pat McGrath one. And I was in my Target and I saw it and I was like, hell yeah! So I bought it and I want to try it out. So let's do it together. This is my ancient Sephora eyelash curler that I use every day. I'm excited to try this. I haven't heard the best things about the Pat McGrath one, um, so I didn't want to pay for it, honestly. I'm not like a high-end mascara girl anyway, so you know who made a good Mascara though, I think ColourPop has a good mascara. I really do. But I'd still rather be able to just buy at the drugstore and not like order online. I go through mascaras really fast. Okay, so this thing is not doing the most for me. I just have to be so careful because I always get mascara everywhere. Okay, so it's definitely like a very dry formula. Um, I'm going to try and build it up some more. I like how dark the shade is. And the brush is nice. But if this is what the Pat McGrath one is like, I don't want it. Okay, I'm going to stop before I make this. Exciting! And then for lip color, I'm not sure what this color actually looks like, but I bought it on the internet. This is the um, Dose Mini Mouse Collab. So cute. I bought the nude shade. So cute. What is this called? Bowtiful. I love Dose of Colors um, liquid lipstick formula, so... It has like a strawberry um, taste to it. This is definitely lighter than what I wear on my lips. But weirdly, I'm kind of down to try it. <laughs> like, for the longest time, this is the only nude I could find for my skin tone. 
and I like low-key hated it. But I'm gonna give it a chance. We're gonna try something new. I'm gonna finish up my hair, um, and then I'll come back and show you the final look. Okay guys, so I just blow dried my hair and this is the final look. I really like this. It is gonna be such a great summer look when I'm even more tan. I think the highlight's gonna pop and the yellow eye I actually really like when I looked at it close up in just like a regular mirror, not my makeup mirror. I thought it really paired so well with my skin tone, so I really like this look. The lip, I'm not 100% sure on. Maybe it'll grow on me. It's definitely lighter than I'm used to, so it's a lot different, but I had so much fun filming this video for you guys, playing with these new makeup releases, so let me know down in the comments if you guys have been eyeing any of these new products. Let me know your thoughts if you're planning on picking them up, and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye, guys.